Good morning. My name is Charlene Winston, and I'll be bringing you the lesson this morning. Uh, we are working towards our lesson uh, in Moses and his vow to the Lord. We worked the last three or four Sundays on different men of the Lord, uh, and they vowed to the Lord and the type of men they were and the, some of the things that they went through. Uh, our lesson this week has been <clears throat> leading towards Moses making his vow to the Lord. And we started out with practicing justice for all. And we did that in Exodus 23, 1 through 9. And with that, we were uh, speaking on doing right by all uh, without respect of person. As Jesus Christ himself said, that he, we are to have no respect of person by doing right, whether rich or poor, young or old. Then we went to eternal cause of neglecting mercy. And we got that lesson from Matthew 25, 41 through 46. And it was speaking about if when Jesus uh, gave the parable and said that uh, I was hungry and you didn't feed me. I was uh, naked and you didn't close me. I was in prison and you didn't minister to me. And <clears throat> the uh, disciples said, when saw we saw you naked and didn't close you or hungry and didn't feed you or in prison and did not minister to you? And he says, if you have done it to the least of his, of his people, then you have done it unto him. So all things that we do unto those that are surrounding us, those that are with us, uh, we do as unto the Lord. We then went from there to uh, follow God in doing justice. And that was from Second uh, Chronicles, the 19th chapter, the fourth verse through the seventh. And it says, as uh, Jehoshaphat did set boundaries for his people after he had went over and fought war and the king that he went with was killed, but he was blessed not to be killed because he called on the Lord and the Lord uh, allowed him to live. As soon as he got back, he began to straighten up his people, get his people in line. And as we, he, we are to do is to get our people in line, our families, our, those that are connected with us, get them in line. And we are to do that in a godly manner. Then we went to where Moses attempted to take care of the problem of the Israelites, uh, the Hebrew children being uh, in bondage and, in, in, and being beaten. So what he did was he saw uh, an Egyptian beating a, a Hebrew and he killed him and, and, and hid him in the sand. He thought he had looked around and didn't see no one, but what he forgot, the person that he saved was automatically going to say, uh, tell somebody that he was, uh, because of the condition he was, the man had been beating him and, and that Moses had came and saved his life. So, of course, it was going to get around if it did, if didn't nobody even see it. Uh, what does, what is done in the dark always comes to the light. This week, we uh, today we are speaking on Moses' years of preparation, and it's coming from Exodus, the second chapter, the 16th verse through the 21st, 25th. And the scripture lesson text read, Now the priests of Midian had seven daughters, and they came and drew water, and they filled the troughs to, to water their father's flock. Then the shepherds came and drove them away. But Moses stood up and helped them and watered their flock. And when they came to Ruel, their father, he said, How is it that you have come so soon today? And they said, An Egyptian delivered us from the hand of the shepherds, and he also drew enough water for us and watered the flock. So he said to his daughters, And where is he? Why is it that you have left the man? Call him, that he may eat bread. Then Moses was con content to live with the man, and he gave Zephariah his daughter to Moses, and she bore him a son. He called his name Gershom, 
For he said, I have been a stranger in a foreign land. Now it happened in, in the process of time that the king of Egypt died. Then the children of Israel groaned because of bondage, and they cried out, their, and their cry came up to God because of the bondage. So God heard their groaning, and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. And God looked upon the children of Israel, and God acknowledged them. He uh, realized, he remembered the, the, the covenant he had made. We're going to begin back just a little piece of... Uh, Back at the 16th verse, it says, and the and the as the daughters went up to uh, water their flock, the the shepherds were quite cruel in the way they did things because they would wait till they had drawn their own water, and then they would run them off and and not let them feed feed their flock or water their flock. They would take the water from them. Well, Moses, seeing this, he did not want injustice done, so. Just as he had saw the the Hebrew being beaten, he did not want this to happen. He did not want these women that came to water their flock to be mistreated by the uh, uh, shepherds that was there. Just because they were of the same uh, uh, Hebrew tribe, they still there are still those that will do wrong. So we have to be mindful of those things and know that the Lord can and will provide for us. And, say, and they said, an Egyptian delivered us from the hand of the shepherds. And they went back and they told their father because they come back so much sooner than they usually do because they had an opportunity to finish what they had to do and go back home. And so he sent them back to get the man that had saved them, had uh, give them the opportunity to finish uh, what they had to do in a quicker time. And Moses uh, took up with this family. And as Moses worked and did as he was asked to do, then the man gave him one of his daughters to marry. And he named one of his sons Gershom uh, to remind him of where he was, that he was in a strange, stranger land and a foreign land, that he had been ran off from his home. And many times we will be sent away from home uh, for different reasons. Uh, sometimes the things that we've done or haven't done, uh, but through the grace of God, even in these circumstances, God will provide, God will take care of us, and God will make a way. And so now it happened in the process of time that the king of Egypt died. The one that was killing the, 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 the boy babies, he had died, and the bondage was now uh, in a different hand, but it doesn't seem like things was any better because now the children, uh, the Hebrew children began to cry unto God. Now they remember after 400 years, now they remember who to cry unto and they cry unto the Lord and the Lord do hear their voice. When we cry unto the Lord and ask him to help us, ask him to lead us, help, ask him to guide us, he shall do that. And Moses See how he is being taken care of. He's being protected. No, he wasn't in the in the house of, of plenty as he was before, but he is being taken care of. He is uh, working and earning a living. He's learning uh, many things that he will need to go about his life that the Lord is preparing for him. Uh, this is a wonderful lesson that we should uh, realize that the Lord will take care of us. He will provide. He will give us the, the, the wisdom and knowledge and understanding to do what we must do. I pray that you meditate on this wonderful lesson today. Y'all have a blessed day.